You know, being a blogger, for me, has actually been a very life-enhancing experience. Uh, the pressure of knowing that you need to produce content forces me, at least, uh, to be hypersensitive to things around me. I've kind of always got my inspirational and spiritual radar up because I want to take those experiences and produce content so that, well, one, it enhances my life, but I want to share it with you. Um, and I don't know why, but my thoughts lately have drifted toward, well, pairs, couples, things that appear or occur in twos. And we're actually surrounded by pairs, things that are coupled. Um, I don't know why the pairs. Well, actually, I do. Uh, sometimes it has to do with balance. Uh, sometimes it has to do with uh, utility and functionality. And sometimes it has to do with redundancy or some combination of those. Um, I'm amazed at the engineering of the human body. This, this complex system, it's mechanical, it's pulleys and it's levers and it's neurological and electrical. Um, God is quite the engineer. Um, did you know that no muscular movement occurs without a muscle contracting? Now, you may think you push on things, but actually you don't. Um, if I extend my arm like that, okay, it is because the tricep muscle contracted. It's not because the bicep muscle, muscle pushed. Now, if I pull it back, the opposite occurs. The bicep muscle contracts, the tricep muscle does nothing. It relaxes, okay? Um, our body is, is built in, in pairs, it seems, in uh, muscular tissue groups of muscles are in pairs. Now, there's an exception to that. Uh, you ever notice you got this huge calf muscle? but yet there's no muscle on the front of the lower part of your leg. And as a result, we get shin splints. Um, we have two eyes. Why do we have two eyes? Well, so we can see in stereo. I mean it. Um, we have two eyes. We see in stereo. That allows us to perceive distances, depth perception. Um, you ever wonder why on earth do people pull out in front of motorcycles and even trains? Well, it's because motorcycles and trains don't have a pair of headlights. They have but one, and it makes it difficult to gauge how far away they are and their rate of closure. Uh, we have two ears. We have one nose with, guess what, two nostrils. We have one brain with, guess what, two hemispheres, left and right. We have a pair of legs. We have a pair of arms. And we have other pairs we won't mention here. <laughs> uh, even secular physicists and scientists have this law, and it basically goes like this. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Pairs are everywhere. Um, as Christians, how does this help us understand, well, the world? and the God that created it. Well, we're going to look at three types of pairings, and we're going to look at symbiosis. That is a healthy relationship. It's a win-win relationship. We're going to look at parasites. That is not a healthy relationship. And we're going to look at paracletes, a healthy relationship. So sandwich approach, good, bad, good. Okay, and I'm looking forward to producing this series of videos. Hey, Let's connect on Twitter. My Twitter handle is below. Also, you can keep up with the text version of these videos that I kind of use as talking point notes to produce them. Uh, my written blog, the address is, well, up there. And you can subscribe to it. Uh, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you will be notified when new videos are produced. I really enjoy, enjoy, producing these videos. One, it helps me in my own walk. It helps me organize my own thoughts and meditations. But I'm able to share them with you. And I do this together uh, with a team of Christian men and women who take their devotionals or their blogs or some combination thereof to produce these short videos in hopes that they will, well, encourage you and inspire you. But most of all, empower you. 
You can check them all out, and I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel.